for all practical purposes, we lack free will. We think that we're in charge of these bodies and these minds, but new evidence synthesized in the April 28, 2016 issue of Scientific American points out that it's an illusion. Consistent with neuro, neurobiological and neuroscientific work over the course of the last century, it seems that free will is not the foam on the beer, it's the last bubble, the one that just popped. We think we're in charge of our decisions, but there is essentially no evidence for that and ample evidence to the contrary. That said, I believe, as do most people who have studied the issue, that we must act as if we have free will. And, and that is as if everybody else on the planet does too. Because if we didn't, we'd be in the uncomfortable position from, say, just a judicial perspective of it being more efficient, less expensive, and more just to imprison people for life or to subject them to the death penalty because they've exhibited bad behavior, which apparently they don't have any control over, and they will keep doing if they are set, set free again. So I think that all of the evidence indicates we have very, very, very limited ability to control our own decisions, and that we must act as if the opposite is true. If that's a conundrum, a paradox, well, life's like that, isn't it? For example, at the age of extinction, only love remains.